the dragon of death is going to want something living to exchange. And then I point towards the door that the men had hidden behind inside the, the tower. I just like look at you and nod, and then I like flip my visor down and walk into the door, or walk into the room. Wait, Chat, should we set if, it? If you could see me right now, I am grinning so much. <laughs> I'm grinning. Yeah, I walk okay. into like the burning. burning I'm gonna address. try and stop you though, so maybe we can set a trap instead. Well, I mean, if you, what do you do to stop me? Uh, grab you. Okay. Grab your shoulder. Grab your shoulder. I'm gonna try and grab your shoulder to get you not to go mm -hmm. in just yet. Um. Because it could be a trap in there, and we should still try to lure him out. I think we should still. I'll try to convince you. Okay, I'm just like, smart idea. How are we gonna? How do we entice him to come out? Uh, we we have rope. We could set a trap. Well, he needs to come out first. I know that's gonna be the hard part. Any ideas, so, uh, Galahan? Yeah, I turn. We turn back to Galahan. We're just like. Should we just call him out? I'm like, get out of here now! <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're calling for Anod? I'm calling for the gentleman behind the door. Yeah, we're oh, calling okay. for Anod. Or uh, yeah, I guess. I guess we say Anod. What what do you say? I I don't know what you say, Strippin. You tell me. Anod. That was the bandit leader's name that we were sent to kill. Oh. Yep. Do we know it's it, him? I'm just calling no, him Dirtbag. Dirt bag, get out here now. Is there any, <clears throat> any response, Steven? Um, let me think. Also, do you want me to, um, I have like two more turns of regeneration, so do you want me to just roll, or just can we just assume I hit full health? I'm only, uh, two, I'm only two points away, so one, one would Just go ahead and roll 2d4. All right. Three, so yeah, I'm there back at full. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, like you go, you go shouting out into there uh, and shouting for for Anod, and um, like, what do you guys do to prepare yourselves for this guy coming out? I uh, put my back up against the wall, like right next to the door, mm -hmm. and I'm just like waiting for him to walk in front and I tell I guess when I do that I'm just like Galahan stand there and like it's right in front of the door and yeah I've got guys. enough I've got enough space between myself and the door There's, I'm about five six feet away from the door so if the door swings open I can actually attack yeah so you guys walked back in the hallway to the door that's closed what yeah, is the so door we, made out of I thought it's wood it's I thought wood I have oh. oh go ahead okay so to prepare um, I pick up of course do I have a torch still? I had a torch, yeah, but I obviously dropped it. Yeah. I um, so I pick up my torch. I pick out a flask of oil. Can I just throw the oil on and start torching the door? Sure, if you want. I'm not sure what that's going to achieve, though. Burning like, down the door? Well, but that that could take, like, an hour, right, for a, oh. a, a solid wood door to burn down? Hmm. Can I, um, I also can I, have a... Sorry. Can I pass my lance to Captain Coke... And then just boot the door. Sure. I mean, like, did you, did any of you want to try just opening the door? I think he uh, wants to boot it for. I'm pissed. <laughs> for okay. Bad ass now. <laughs> roll, a, roll a strength check. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. You you kick the door, blam, and it, like it it slams into a man on the other side, uh, for one d four damage. I. All right, I beckon ah, to Captain well. Coke for my lance back. Yeah, I just yeah, like, okay. toss it to you. Uh, or hand it to you, whatever. It's 12 feet see, long. Uh, yeah, you see, um, you see a man wearing obvious finery with a clean bandage wrapped around his head and over his left ear. Uh, he has a scimitar at his side and a dagger strapped across his chest. He looks very sick. Um... And he, he looks incredibly stunned to have been uh, had this door kicked open into him. Um, roll initiative. Okay. D20 plus two. Five. 
Okay, and it's mine one. Four. So you're, uh, uh, yours is plus three. Oh, three, three. Yeah, okay, there we go. What's your guys' hit points right now? <clears throat> max. I'm at max. Nine seven. and max. Oh, it's oh, not bad. I'm at seven, yeah. Okay, Darius, you act first. What do you do? You just kicked in the door. It's hit this guy in the face. He's the only one in here. He looks sick. So I'm going to stay at a range. I don't want to get near him. Oh, just uh, beyond, by the way, just beyond this uh, area, you see uh, um, you see what looks like a toilet, and like there's a strong smell of urine that comes billowing out from this room. Um, it's about uh, like 15 feet by 15 feet. Across the way, there's another door that you can see, and uh, back to the left, there's another door. Um, yeah, so Anod is coming out of this room that's being used as a toilet. Oh, goodness. That's gross. Okay, so I'm going to look to the others and um, ready my bow. I still have the rope um, with me, but I don't know if they want me to attack because they said something about a sacrifice, so I'm going to look at them. And um, It's worth noting that whenever you deal damage, you can yeah. always choose to whether it's lethal or non-lethal whenever you knock somebody oh. out. So, like, just... The the quickest and the easiest way to get through this would be to just dump as much damage into him as possible, and then the person who knocks him down just says, I okay. knock him unconscious instead of killing him. I'll do that then. I'll deal damage. I'll take out my bow, and I'm going to uh, shoot at him from a distance. Okay. You have advantage. Okay. So roll with the advantage click, and that's plus five for you. Um, okay. And that means that you get your uh, sneak attack. Okay. okay. You hit him square on. And roll. he's wearing sturdier armor. He's wearing studded leather armor. And ooh, ooh, damn. Okay. Not very yeah. Much. Your your arrow like barrows buries into his shoulder. Make sure that you mark down down that arrow. Mm -hmm. Um, he does nothing. He's too surprised. Captain Coke, it's your turn. Uh, okay. I will. If I wanted to shield charge him. I don't know if this is an actual move later on, but if I wanted to shield charge him with the intention of knocking him down, would you allow that? And also, what would I need to roll? Yeah, totally. I mean, you know. He's, he's already knocked down, isn't he? Oh. No, he just got bumped by the door. He's oh, okay. Alright. Um, yeah, I'd say, like, you know, you need to run at him, so move half of your movement, but that's fine. He's been knocked back a little bit. And then uh, make a melee attack, and if you hit, he'll probably try to resist with a strength saving throw or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so making an attack with my normal bonus of plus five mm -hmm. or yep. plus three? Your normal bonus. Okay. So here's plus five. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. You hit him. Okay. So um, what's your strength bonus? Plus, plus three. three. Okay. So that means that the, I'm setting the difficulty for his saving throw at 13 because it's eight plus the proficiency bonus plus your strength mod modifier, which is the same way that spell DCs are calculated. Uh, he, he nails it, so he gets bumped back a bit, but he doesn't get knocked down. Do Galahan, your okay. turn. Yeah. Um, so, are these guys like literally lunging into the doorway, right? Yeah, well, get, uh, Captain Coke just went running in. Alright, so I can't really get to the guy. You've got a lance, man. I do. Um, can I reach him without hitting Captain Coke? Can I just like maybe go underneath his arm or something? Oh yeah, no, you can you can attack beyond Captain Coke. All right, so I'll just throw the lance uh, beyond Captain Coke at the guy, um, aiming for one of his aiming for like his thigh, like the meaty part of his thigh. Yeah. Seventeen yep. is a hit. Okay. Seven. Seven damage. Okay. Solid. Darius, you can make a second attack. Um, now okay. you have your sneak attack from virtue of your friend being in uh, line. But you're going to have to move so that you can actually see him because he's been knocked back into the room a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move into the room as well. And yeah. uh, is there still room to use a bow, or should I use... No, you can still use a bow. Okay, so I'm going to use my bow still, just to stay at a range. You nail him. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna. You missed roll. a bow shot today. Only Darius one. is like super. So I've done rapier. so much fucking damage. To yeah, yep. it's safe. You've done a lot, a lot of damage. Look at that, ten damage. Still Ridiculous. Doing it. You've done over. So your arrow yeah. just total, just like catches him in the gut. Just like you can see, it's really done something serious to him. He like inhales and lets out a bellowing yell. Ha! And then. He just be turns into a whirling dervish of attacks aimed at Captain Coke. So, yeah. How much health uh, does he have? He, he draws out the dagger from his chest, and he just begins swinging his scimitar around and around. So, Captain Coke, what's your AC right now? 18. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so he crits I'm you with the scimitar. With I'm not playing with you anymore. <laughs> he fucking rolls, dude. It's not and even. And then he hits you with the dagger. It's not even like you've rolled fucking like seven twenties <laughs> today, dude. And yeah. they've all been on me. It's yep. actually so insane. You only take eight <laughs> damage from the scimitar, and then from the dagger, you only take four damage. I mean, I'm on the ground. Okay, Captain Coke is down, but now it is Captain Coke's turn. Roll a death save, Captain Coke. It's 15 or higher, right? 10 or higher. It's one 10 or higher. 10 or hey, higher. all right. You succeed. Job. Galahan, your turn. All right. So I'm like super, super pissed at this point because I've just seen Coke go down as well. <laughs> For the third so, time in like 10 minutes. I'm just really <laughs> peeved. <laughs> so I just, I just scream out, I fucking hate bandits! And then I just... <laughs> Throw the spear forward yeah. towards the throat of the bandit. Roll it up, man. All right. Oh, hang on. By the way, if you want to give me initiative for any of these amazing attacks, at any point, you know, 23. Initiative? Inspiration, you, you mean? Inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah. yeah there you go. If you want to give any of us inspiration, that would be great. You nail him in the throat. And I always forget inspiration. So, uh... Go ahead and roll your damage. Eight. Oh, man. Okay, he's still up. Darius, come on, you gotta finish oh this. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep shooting just because that's that's what I'm good at. I'm a rogue who shoots people with bows Absolutely. and arrows. So I'm gonna uh, keep going and... You hit. Okay, and... Oops, typo there. Oh. There we go. All right. Bam. There was literally no way he could survive the attack that you just did. So okay. I'm assuming that you're knocking him unconscious with this? Yeah, non lethal. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like, you know, somehow you shoot an arrow that knocks him unconscious. <laughs> Good job. <Somehow. laughs> Um, Sleep arrow. Cool. He goes down. Okay. Uh, who of you wants to try? Um, so I, I'm going to assume one of you helps and the other one does medicine. So I guess it, it'll be Darius who does medicine. Yeah, I'll do me medicine. I think mine's better. So roll with advantage plus one. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Captain Coke, make a death saving throw. Oh no. It's two and okay. zero. Darius, roll with advantage. Okay, so you stabilize Captain Coke. Okay. Captain Coke, 1d4. <sighs> two. Takes you two hours to recover. Uh, if you guys would like to bring this unconscious dude to the Serpent of Death, then probably what you want to do is like get out of here as much as possible and then rest for a bit and then go. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you guys like drag everybody away. I'm going to um, take out like, my length of rope and I like bound this guy up by the feet and just drag yep. him out. Awesome. Um, totally great. You guys get out of there, no problem. Nobody else really seems to be coming out very much. Um, and uh, two hours pass, Captain Coke wakes up. Are you guys going to take a short rest? Does anybody have any more? I never uh, used HP, so I would love to. Okay, yeah. I, so think if, I would like to take a long rest. Maybe. I, it is late at night, so if you guys slept, then you would be able to, uh, you'd be able to go back to the Serpent of Death tomorrow. Okay, and I guess I would offer, because we have to camp still, right? Yeah. And so I, I guess I would offer, since I didn't get really injured in that one, uh, to just take first watch. 
Let them okay. rest. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, the night passes uneventfully. Cool. Did we roll? You wake up the next morning. You've recovered all of your hit points. And we and can use... Oh, okay, we recovered all our hit points. Gotcha. Yep. I forgot. Yep. Anyways, sorry, go ahead. Um, who's going to lead you guys back to the the worm of death? Uh, I mean, Coke's got the map. Yeah, I guess I will. It's fine. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Coke, uh, give us a roll with advantage. Okay. Uh, sorry. Just click I've got um, Shalbaz over my shoulder. And this I'm is just kind of. I'm just kind of carrying his corpse. Who's touching? Like... Are we dragging the guy behind us because he's sick? Uh, I mean, I guess you've got like a, a rope tied around his wrist. Yeah, and we're, making, we we're making him walk. We just and we disarmed him, right? Disarmed. We looted him. Oh, yeah. Did we get anything? Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll find, let's we'll see what later. kind of loot he had on him. Am I rolling a survival uh, check, by the way, Steven? He didn't have any loot on him. Okay. Uh, yes, you're rolling a survival check. 13? Yep, okay. Uh, you, you find your way back to the, uh, to the, 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 the three hot springs. So, you know, looking down there... There's the three springs, and each of them has a serpent head sticking up out of it, just gazing around. What I do turned, you do? I turned to uh, Galahad, and I'm just like, it's all you, mate. <laughs> and I offer you the uh, the rope. I look, and I'm like, I doubt I'm going to be lucky twice, to be honest. Uh, you want to give I, me that uh, spear before you head down? Actually, nah. perhaps use it as a bargaining offer. <laughs> Use the spare as a bargaining offer. Not up front. Just if they need some more, if we need some more chips, then you can say, take the spear back Jesus. and give us our friend. All right. I'll keep watch up here. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not fucking climbing back down there. This is all you. I'm going down alone. <laughs> I got like I'm not going to climb carry, down there. I got to carry two bodies, man. I can't even. You're strong. You're I'm very strong. I'm two bodies. Look, okay, I'll carry a body down there, but I, I'm just going to stand there like an idiot. So just tell him I'm a nice person and the, do. I, I like grab the rope. <laughs> I just like, just, here we go again. I just like fall. Uh, last down. time you guys Good pointed rope. at me, so I'm not going. I'm not. I'm going to keep watch. Cool. Right. I just start going down, leading the, the bandit with us, the bandit leader behind All right. me, rather. Yeah, um, all three serpents turn to face you, and then as you as you guys approach the serpent of death, the great white serpent, it opens its mouth and it roars to the heavens. Um, which of you can speak draconic? It's it's, it's me, Galahad. Yeah, yeah. It says, um, you know, why do you return to us, manling? Uh, I I seek a, I, I look towards him and I I yell in draconic. I seek a boon from the great serpent of death. The I, offer, of death. I offer life in return. The serpent of death bellows back. It says, you have already had a boon, manling. <sighs> Just got a bad feeling about this. Just got a bad feeling. <laughs> I, I, uh, I point to the body of Shalbaz. Yeah. And I say, but this man has not. I'm mm. here on his behalf. Okay, yeah, the, the serpent sort of like leans down and sniffs the body of Xiaobaz and then he says, he turns to the others and he says, what the manling says is true. And then he turns back and he says, and you ask? And I ask. What are you asking for? Oh. I <laughs> Mighty lizard. I kind of like whisper serpent. that in the <laughs> <laughs> I ask that you restore his life in exchange for this man's death. And I throw um, the man forward into the dirt. Anod is blubbering and, and weeping and sorrowful. And the serpent sort of like lowers his mighty head over Anod and he sniffs him. <sighs> and then he turns to the others and he says, This manling has brought a sacrifice. And then the Serpent of Grief says, yes, a delicious sacrifice. The Serpent of Blood says, his blood will quench our thirst. The Serpent of Death turns back to you and sniffs, sniffs the man again, Anod, and says, I smell something else here. And then he like lowers his head until it's eye level with you, um, 
Gallahan, and he says, yes, I will give you back this creature's life for a life. And then he opens his mouth and he bites into Anod, just crunch. He just rips oh. straight through his torso, tears him in half, tosses like the top half of Anod over to the Serpent of Blood and then gulps down the lower half of Anod. He turns back to you, he says, you have earned my favor, but I cannot return your friend for this life. All right, I'm looking at the group. I'm just looking at their faces. I turn back. I say, what life do you require, serpent? The serpent looks at you with a smug look in his eye and it says, there was a scent on this man-creature which I have eaten. The scent of an ascendant god. Go back where you got this creature from and bring me the life that you find near there. There is another more powerful. Bring me this creature, this ascendant of disease. I will take its life and give you back your friend. And I think, personally, that's a good point to end on. Mm. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, I thought you were going to get eaten there for a second. I thought he was going to be like, you are life. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just sitting there like, oh, man, this is not going to go well. Yeah. The entire time, I, I guess Captain Cook was just standing there like, what's about to happen? <laughs> like, and I'm just know. looking down. Yeah, you just see us two sitting down there. <laughs> Snake heads right in front of you. Well, that shit was awesome, even though Shalbath died. But Yo we, we're, we're trying. We're trying. Maybe to there's hope. We're gonna Maybe. save you, man. Who knows? He's coming back. We're gonna save you. Who knows? It was back. fun. We'll see. Uh, all right, let's do some shout outs and close out the show. Uh, Gassy, why don't you start us off? All right. Uh, super fun. I'm Gassy Mexican. If you guys don't know who I am, I do Twitch, twitch.tv slash Gassy Mexican, uh, YouTube.com slash Gassy Mexican, everything. Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Gassy Mexican, no spaces. It's been a blast. I'm sorry. I still have your old. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't redo your card, so it just says this asshole gets people drunk on shows in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> you still do it. You still do it, though. So whatever. Whatever. Uh, Strippin, please do some shout outs. Uh, hi, guys. My name's Strippin. Uh, I stream regularly on twitch.tv forward slash Strippin. Uh, I also do YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Strippin. And you can find me at the Strippin on Twitter. Thank you so much to Steven. This was really, really fun. Yeah. Uh, and actually, my character didn't die, which is a first for me. So, <laughs> really, really, really happy <laughs> overall. <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, Pocket, clearly the MVP of the show. Uh, saving the party. MVP! Yeah, MVP. Uh, freaking killed it. Saving the party uh, straight up once, and then do, I think dealing the, the death shots to everything else in the entire almost, game. Almost, almost yeah. everything. Almost I think you guys else. killed one. We yeah. killed at least one. We didn't. Also yeah. great, by the way, playing playing with you, stripping in pocket. Super awesome. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you guys. It was a great first experience. My first time playing this. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, uh, did, you did awesome for first time. Yeah. I got lucky. I was just saying, I really lucky no, with Steven my got lucky. Steven got fucking lucky. Oh. Steven got lucky. In 20s out of his ass. Yeah. All day. <laughs> All day. Uh, um, do some shout outs, though, Pocket. Oh, yeah. My name's Pocket or Hillary Nicole. I'm on Twitter at Pocket Says, P O K K. I spell it differently because I can't get P-O-C-K usually. And uh, pocket, twitch.tv slash pocket. I stream and I do YouTube, mostly highlights and vlogs. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do right now. So thank you so much. Awesome stuff. Hope, uh, hopefully you enjoyed your first D&D experience. Oh, it was good. amazing. Cool. Cool. We'll definitely have you back in awesome. the future. I don't know why we're giving you shout out time, but Steven, please uh, <laughs> do some <laughs> shout outs. You were giving me shout out time because I'm going to give you experience for it. <clears throat> so here's yeah. what happened this time. For finding a location in the Udrin foothills and marking it on the map, you earned 450 XP as a group. For killing the two spiders, you earned 400 XP as a group. For fighting the bandits, you earned 200 XP as a group. For killing Anod, you earned 250 XP as a group, and for completing your goal, you earned 100 XP as a group. For a total of 
1,400 experience divided by three, each of you receives 467 experience points. You. Unless you're dead. Fucking. I like I like what's going on with my face right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twenty fucking XP from level three. <clears throat> I can't give you every character to be level three, Jason. Do we know, do we know um, gold and stuff in terms of like gold and what was it? Just fifteen or was it um, like I looted nine gold, and <laughs> silver? Yeah. We had she, we had seven gold, fifteen silver is what I got from someone. Also, we get to like divvy up showbazes, right? Yeah, I had about like eighty gold left <laughs> on me, pretty much. We like do it after the... all my money. Yeah, we'll do it after. Do it after. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. I think that's it. I think that's gonna to be a show. We'll let you guys know if we're gonna continue with this group or what. Uh, what's gonna be the next show? Probably gonna be next Saturday, though. I gotta to check with Steve and see what his schedule like. His schedule is like and everything else. But uh, we'll be live on Monday with. Mirror Shades, Swan Song on Tuesday, and Solemn on uh, Wednesday as well. So look for that in the future. Regardless, I'll do the rest of my shoutouts once we close out the stream. Uh, Pocket, Strippin, and Gassy, thanks so much for coming on the show. Hopefully you guys had a great time. Yep. It was fun. It was fun. Super awesome. Steven, you. uh, you're an asshole, and uh, <laughs> you're an all right DM, though. <laughs> GGWP. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. We're out. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Right, bye. bye. Waving away. Goodbye. Bye. bye.